The team at Skinwalker Ranch recently brought in a team of experts from Omnitech, a data analytics company, to help them study a possible mid-air anomaly. This included recording the area with a LiDAR-equipped drone while recording a signal from the ISS during a rocket launch. One particular scan from this event seemed to puzzle the team. It showed a sharp-edged black void. The experts said they had seen nothing like this before, and Travis Taylor suggested it might be a traversable Lorentzian wormhole that could be responsible for the UFOs and other weird things going on at the ranch. But looking at the images, a far simpler explanation seems obvious. Notice the black shadow-like voids behind the cars and the brush. That's areas of missing data. LiDAR can only give you 3D data on things that it can see. So if you just hover your drone in one spot and rotate it, then you'll get these shadows all pointing towards the LiDAR sensor on the drone. And if you rotate the drone without pointing it down enough, then you'll get a void just like this under the drone. So it seems like the simple explanation is that this is a short scan from a roughly stationary position taken at an angle too shallow to get the ground under the drone. Now, they used an expensive LiDAR, which I don't have. We're talking military intelligence community capable, very expensive hardware that's not readily accessible to anyone else. But I do actually have LiDAR on my phone. LiDAR works by bouncing an array of laser beams off the scene and then recording how far away each point is. The iPhone LiDAR has a limited range, so I created a rough model of the scene in my backyard with cardboard boxes. Firstly, I scanned the scene from the center at a low altitude, doing a full 360 for coverage in all directions. Then I did a proper scan, with the camera a bit higher and moving around so you get lots of different angles, like you would if you were actually doing a real LiDAR survey. The center scan gave the same results as at Skinwalker. There are shadow voids pointing back at the camera, and there's a large void underneath where I was standing. The proper scan, of course, just showed the scene with no shadow voids and no big void in the middle. This is because I moved it around so you could see all points in the scene. If you rotate the camera more precisely, like you could with a drone, you get a better circle. Then if you make small adjustments while rotating it, that changes the shape a bit. So it looks like that's what they did here. Just a quick 360 scan with a couple of slight dips which give you these curves. Nothing too complicated, no wormhole, and certainly not something they should be puzzled about. Jim, please tell me you've seen this sort of thing before. No. no. <laughs> Neither is the team. So as you meant, Sam is a optical expert, electronic warfare guy, looks at all kinds of radar images, and you know, everybody's kind of scratching their head to say the least over what this is. So what is going on here? Is everyone inept? Is everyone lying? No. I don't think either of those things are true. A lot of the cast members seem to genuinely believe that things like this are legitimate discoveries. I don't know why Omnitech messed this up, or why Travis postulated wormholes, but showmanship or genuine mistake, either way, they are fooling honest people both in the show and out in the audience. People ask me why I bother with Skinwalker Ranch when it seems to them to be an obvious sham, just a show for viewing numbers. I bother firstly because they are fun little investigations, but also because it's not obvious to everyone, not even to all the members of the cast.